A person is someone who doesn't have any citizenship recognized, any documentation to prove their identity. So the, the, they can't vote to start with. And during this period of time, we know how important it is. A lot of time they can't go to school because it, the documentation will be required. They cannot access medical services. They can't marry because they don't have the documentation to bring. Um, so those are like simple examples, but where someone who has a citizenship doesn't think they could face in a day-to-day -day life. And, it, and they create themselves children that are stateless also. So it's a bit of a vicious circle. No documentation, you can provide documentation. So, so it's very important because it's really with basic services um, that everyone takes for granted that those people don't have access to. The most common um, reason why someone is stateless, either born or became stateless is often because of gaps in the national laws. So that does not plan for every situation and people sometimes have a hard time to be able to claim their nationality. This is the main um, reason. However, dissolutions of state, um, new states, uh, territory that moves from one state to the other are also some of the causes uh, where someone can become stateless. So these are the most typical. There's, there was two main profile, if I could say, when we started working with um, the state, state, oops, sorry, statelessness issue. First, because of the dissolution and the war, a lot of people moved abroad. And when they came back with children that were born abroad, and didn't have necessarily documentation to, to justify or to confirm the day or the time of birth, that became a big issue because they had no documentation to acquire their citizenship, which is by law, you need to provide this. So with the help of our partner, um, Vasha Prava, mm -hmm. uh, we provide legal aid to, and, and with these people, we managed to be able to provide over 1,770 uh, birth certificate of people that were trying to acquire or just or confirm their citizenship. So that was a big step. And, and with the help of all the stakeholders in the country, um, we made huge progress in that sense. Right now, there's about what is estimated at about 100 people that remain in the country without confirmation of their citizenship. And the majority of them are from minority population, i.e. the Roma, most of them. So um, we're trying. We have a lot of, of uh, help from, like I said, the different stakeholders. And with, uh, again, Vasha Prava, who is pushing those uh, dossiers further, uh, we're really hoping that we can be free of uh, stateless people in this country in the coming years. Um, it would be a pride for the country and it would be also an example in the region to follow because I think that the collaboration so far in this country with the institution has been really good in that sense. But we need that little extra stretch to be able to say we've done it. I think BNH is doing very good. It's difficult to really compare because since statelessness are not registered anywhere, it's hard to know the exact number of how many are out there. So some countries have reported, like I think over 76 countries have reported like 4.2 million stateless uh, people from their country. And over the years, there's already been um, over 350,000 people that managed to acquire their nationality. But it's difficult to rank or to say because we don't know the exact number of stateless out there. But I can definitely tell you that there's a goodwill. Um, there's been a good collaboration. We just need to be able to have everyone on board to really go and end this. But I think BI has just been doing good. And we're definitely, as UNHCR, going to continue to, to push that agenda to ensure that we really reach that zero stateless. When there's a will, there's a way.